हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आर आस्किंग अबाउट द चॉइस फिलिंग डेट्स फॉर राउंड वन एंड दिस इज द कंप्लीट एक्सपेक्टेड डेट एंड शेड्यूल व्हिच यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट फॉर द डिफरेंट राउंड्स ऑफ कॉमेड केस आई एम कवरिंग ओनली फर्स्ट एंड द सेकंड राउंड थर्ड राउंड विल ऑल्सो हैपन आफ्टर दैट सो नाउ इफ यू सी द काउंसलिंग रजिस्ट्रेशन रजिस्ट्रेशन स्टार्टेड ऑन ट्वेंटी मे एंड द काउंसलिंग रजिस्ट्रेशन वॉज ओवर ऑन सेवनटीन जून and the students were allowed to do document upload up to today which is 20th june was the last day to upload the document and resubmit documents is also the due date is over so all the documents are now uploaded uploaded but the document verification is not yet complete and um, i will tell you you know lot of students have done document upload before 31st of may one month back almost but their document is still not verified because it is still ongoing but don't worry all of the students document will be verified by 30 30th of june it depends on the luck and um, if your document is verified or not right so only if the document verification is complete choice filling is going to start and though it is showing that the first activity is mock round but before that they will release the first round you know seats available right before that the mock round is not going to start so you can think what will happen between 30th june to 5th july will be the release of the seat matrix between 30th to 5th july and 5th july i'm expecting the mock round choice filling is going to start right that means you can put your choices of colleges and branch and the last date for choice filling is expected to be 7th july at least 3 days they will give so these are the minimum dates dates, dates can be even more than this what you are seeing i am giving minimum is last date of choice filling will be 7th july and at least one day they will take in between the mock allotment result will be 9th july or it may be even 10th july so that is what date i am expecting and based on the mock allotment you can you have a provision to edit the option entries of colleges and courses so that you get better seat or at least you get some seat right so that's why you see at least 3 days up to 12th july will be given for editing the mock entries for the choice filling of the round 1 after that only first round allotment is bound to happen so the minimum date you can expect is 15th july you will get the first round allotted seat right this is the real seat this is not the mock seat and after that you can see i have club two activities together decision making and the for the choice entry will start so every student will get four choices first is the accept if you are happy with the college you accept the college second you are happy with the college but you still want to participate in the second round of college you want to upgrade your college or the branch right so in that case you will put choice entry is equal to 2 the third student who, who, who is not happy with this seats allotted and they want to basically reject the seat and then they want to go for the second round of counseling those students will do the choice entry 3 and some students completely want to exit from the counseling because they have got the different better seat so those students will do the choice entry 4 so that will happen up to 18th july as i have mentioned and in parallel based on the choices entry you have made or decision making see uh, fees payment will also be open for students between 15th july to 20th july or 19th july and then students will get uh, 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 the student who got the choice one like they are ready to join the college those people are requested to join the report or report to college by 22nd of july all other choice two choice three students have to wait for the second round of counseling they don't need to join the college they have to wait for the second round of counseling now after that they will also open the seat cancellation facility for the round 1 students up to the same date which was 22nd july in the last sheet after that they will release the vacant seat matrix after round 1 right which student have rejected or not taken or not paid the fees those seats will be added into the vacant seat matrix after round 1 which will be released by 25th of july or even it will be after that date right the, now the second round of choice filling will start 
the round is called 2a so basically the second round is split between two uh, categories right 2a is only for the kkr student general merit student cannot participate in 2a round only kkr student can participate and for them the choice filling still start from 26 july to 28 july these are minimum dates and only hyderabad karnataka region can participate in 2a again the seat allotment for the second 2a round will happen by 30th of july this is again only will be allotted to students of kkr quota because they have a certain number of seats allotted to them and after that kkr students will be asked to do choice entry payment college reporting etc which should happen by 2nd of august and this round is also only for the you know all the kkr students now next round will be called 2b round which is only for the general merit students so these are the students where you know they have not taken any kkr quota those students will be able to do their choice filling between 5th august to 8th august which i am expecting at minimum and the round 2b allotment which is only for the general merit student should happen by 10th of august right so this is the first two round of expected counseling dates which you can think of and after based on available seats of the second round the third round of uh, counseling may happen right that again will be taken care and it will complete by say 25th to 28th august third round i am not covering in this that's all for this particular you know video expected dates thanks for watching please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on the comet k and the kct related counseling